Hello parents and family members, I'm Mr. Ives. And I'm Mr. Adam. And welcome to Stamford American International School's Digital Citizenship Week. We are the elementary school's digital learning leaders. It's going to be an exciting time for students, teachers and parents here next week as we explore what it means to be good digital citizens. Digital citizens think critically about what they see online, understand the benefits and risks of sharing information, and balance screen time with other activities. But digital citizens aren't born. They're taught by teachers and by parents and other family members. This week we have some interesting learning activities planned for the students. At school, the students will be engaging in a digital citizenship activity every day. They'll be thinking deeply about their own technology balance, how to stay safe online, but also how to be creative, collaborative, and how to have fun with digital technology. We've got some great activities for students to complete at home too. Check out the slides sent through Seesaw and pick one, some, or all of the activities to complete at home, making sure to post the learning to Seesaw afterwards. In addition, Mr. Ives and I will be dropping into classrooms next week and running a session with students on media balance. We'll be asking students to consider plugged and unplugged activities they plan to take part in over the upcoming October holiday. Watch out for their plans being posted on Seesaw. It's going to be a wonderful week with lots of rich learning. If you're looking for more information on digital citizenship, perhaps you're concerned about the quality or amount of your child's screen time, social media participation, or have online safety concerns, a wonderful resource we always recommend for parents is Common Sense Media. If you head over to your preferred search engine and search for Common Sense Media, their website will pop up. On there, you can find a range of articles, research papers, reviews, and forums on pressing digital citizenship issues. In particular, it's a handy resource for looking up whether a certain game or movie is appropriate for what age. Thank you so much for assisting your child at home to complete some of these digital citizenship activities and maybe to begin a conversation at home around these topics. It's an important subject and we all need to work together to help develop the skills and competencies for students to be balanced and thrive in our increasingly digital world. So all the best, have fun, and if you need any assistance, please reach out to Mr. Ives or myself.